We're going to talk briefly about OUs or organizational units and what those are for. If you remember back uh, a long time ago when earlier in the course, we talked about groups and we said that groups are not something you apply group policy to. Groups are something that you apply permissions to, security permissions. But if you want to apply group policy, you do that through organizational units. Now, group policy is things like, well, what do you want to have on the um, uh, desktop background for all of your users? Or do you want your users to be able to get to the command line? Do you want your users to be able to access the registry? Do you want your users to be able to access the control panel? Things like that are all under group policy. In other words, it's how the users can interact with the machine. Let's take a look here. I'm going to go to Tools and then Users and Computers. And here in the domain, if I expand the domain, you see I've got some various containers. And we're going to talk about these containers later on. But there is one type of container called the organizational unit. Right now, domain controllers, there's an organizational unit called domain controllers. You can recognize it from this extra little, I don't know what that is, inside the icon. And you can see I only have one domain controller, and that's the domain controller that I'm on right now that is in my domain controllers OU. Now, the rest of the organizational units I would be able to create on my own. But before I do that, let's talk about the structure of these things. So I've designed here an OU setup here. I've got an admin organizational unit. And inside that, I've nested a support organizational unit and a manager's organizational unit. In other words, among my administrators, I've got those who are managers and those who are not managers. All right, so these are the support here, and they are the, they're not the managers. Inside the support group now, I've got my payroll group and my HR group. Now, why have I structured it this way? Well, let's say I want my all my admins to have the same desktop background. Okay, I can do that. They would do that again through organizational units. Uh, my managers, let's say that I want my managers to have access to things like uh, the registry and um, control panel and so on. I would give them then this uh, that capability at this level through the manager's organizational unit. My support group, I do not want them, I don't want my HR or my payroll people to be able to access the, uh, the control panel or the registry um, or the command line. And so at the support level, then, I could individually set up policies for that. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm nesting it so that I can apply policies as I will throughout the organization. So let's go back here again. And let's set up some organizational units. I'm going to go up here to the widget LLC. And I'm going to right click on here and go down to new and then organizational unit. And here's where I will set up my admin organizational unit. Uh, normally this protect container from accidental deletion is on by default. And I would normally leave it on for production purposes. For our purposes, I'm going to turn it off right now. All right, so I've got my admin here. Inside admin, I want a support and a manager's OU. So let's do that. So inside admin, I'm going to right-click admin, go new, OU. And I want a support group, or I should say a support OU. And I also want in admin here a manager's OU. So new organizational unit, MGR. S, and there's my managers. Now inside the support, we had payroll and HR. So let's go ahead and add those inside support. New OU, payroll, and HR. New OU. There we go. I've got it all set up with my organizational units so that I can apply these. Now, what would go in my organizational units? That's where my groups and users will go. So here under users, I'm going to make a new group. And I'll call this group 
um, well, let's just call it HR. Right? And I'm going to make a user, new user, named Fred. All right, so I've got Fred. Now I'm going to put Fred in the group. I'm going to put Fred in the HR group. So let's right-click Fred, go to Properties, and say Fred is a member of. Here's the Member of tab, and we'll make Fred a member of the HR group. Now he is a member of the HR group. Now we're going to take the HR group, and we're going to put the HR group in the HR group. OU like that and now if we open the HROU we'll see that we have the HR security group inside the HROU and now I'm ready to apply OUs or I should say apply group policies to this uh, to this OU and we will talk about that later on uh, right now I just wanted to see the structure and how we would set this up in order to be able to apply our group policies throughout our organization.